Hello and welcome to Euro Football Daily, where today, to mark the retirement of the Italian legend Luca Toni, we've counted down the 10 greatest ever Serie A veterans. 10. Costa Curta Kicking us off is five-time Champions League winner Alessandro Costa Curta, who still holds the third most appearances in the history of AC Milan with 663. A World Cup winner with Italy, the central defender was known for his modern style of distribution from deep and would regularly drop into the libero role because of his pace and technique. When he finally retired aged 41 years and 25 days, he did so with seven Serie A titles under his belt. I think it's fair to say that Costa Curta's status as one of football's greatest ever defenders cannot be questioned. 9. Del Piero Alessandro Del Piero may still be playing for Delhi Dynamos in India at the age of 41, but his veteran Serie A status still cannot be underestimated. Winning his final Serie A title as well as the Italian Footballer of the Year, aged a whopping 34, Del Piero has also proved himself as one of football's good guys, winning the Gentlemanly Conduct Award six times in his career. But this didn't affect the Italian's ruthlessness on the pitch, as he picked up six Serie A titles, one Champions League and a World Cup with Italy. What a legend. 8. Dino Zoff The first but not the last goalkeeper on this list, Dino Zoff became known for his incredible organisational skills and positioning. Named the third best goalkeeper in history by the International Football Federation and elected as Italy's golden player of the past 50 years, it's pretty easy to see why. Zoff holds the record for the longest time without conceding a goal at international tournaments, with his record standing at a ridiculous 1,142 minutes. In fact, to further underline his veteran status, he remains the oldest player ever to win a World Cup, aged 40 years and 40 days. 7. Pietro Vierkevod As far as great Serie A central defenders go, you won't find many better than Pietro Vierkevod, who represented Milan, Roma, Juventus, Sampdoria and Fiorentina over 700 times. Nicknamed the Saar because of his physicality and the fact he was the son of a Red Army colonel, Pietro was one of the founding fathers of zonal marking and became known for his tenacity and tackling ability before eventually retiring aged 41. Diego Maradona once dubbed the Ukrainian his toughest ever opponent, claiming that he even had muscles in his eyelashes, and Gary Lineker remarked that he was the most brutal defender he'd ever faced. 6. Antonio Di Natale Like a fine wine, Di Natale is one of the rare players who seem to get better with age, and this is proved by the fact his best ever season came in 2010, aged 33, when he contributed to 54% of Udinese's total goals. The club's top appearance holder with 362 and goal scorer of 189 in Syria, he has three times said he would retire from professional football. Being the legendary veteran he is though, he has gone back on his word every single time and even now the prince of Italian football is still going strong, making 19 appearances for Udinese this season, aged 38. 5. Silvio Piola at five is the great Silvio Piola, who remains the highest scorer in Italian First League history with 290 goals spread across Serie A and Divisione Nazionale. Known for his unbelievable agility and ability to score acrobatic goals, the World Cup winner also ranks fourth on the all-time list of appearances in Serie A with 566 and even scored 19 goals in his final season, aged 40. Despite never winning a Scudetto during spells at Juventus, Torino and Lazio, Piola was so highly respected that two stadiums, one in Navarra and the other in Vercelli, were even named after him. 4. Gianluigi Buffon Possibly the most iconic goalkeeper of all time and still the most expensive at 53 million euros, it's quite unbelievable to think that Juventus paid that much for a 23-year-old from Parma all the way back in 2001. Nevertheless, Buffon has more than repaid the fee, winning seven Serie A titles, four World's Best Goalkeeper awards and is still one of only three players to take part in five World Cups. Buffon remains the most capped player in Italian history and currently aged 38 went a crazy 974 minutes without conceding a goal to set Serie A's clean sheet record. 3. Francesco Totti 
the gladiator of Rome, Totti has spent four decades at his boyhood club Roma, racking up a brain-boggling 757 games for the Giallo Rossi. Despite winning just one Serie A title and never winning a European Cup, Totti is still the second highest Italian scorer in league history with 248 goals and as a veteran is still rescuing Roma today, aged 39. The man with the most famous celebrations in Italy too, Totti once revealed a t-shirt saying I purge you guys again after scoring against local rivals Lazio and has even taken a selfie on the pitch. 2. Paolo Maldini 902 appearances for AC Milan, 26 trophies, 7 Serie A titles, 5 Champions Leagues, those are the statistics of the great Paolo Maldini. The epitome of a Serie A veteran, Maldini won the UEFA Best Defender Award at 39 and even finished third in the Ballon d'Or, aged 36. Nicknamed Il Capitano for his leadership of the great AC Milan sides, he still holds the record for the most appearances in Serie A history with 647 and the most in all UEFA club competitions with 147. Simply amazing. 1. Javier Zanetti Just squeezing out Maldini is the Benjamin Button of Italian football, it's Inter Milan icon Javier Zanetti. With 858 Inter appearances spanning three decades, Zanetti is in fact the most capped outfield player in the history of football, playing a quite frankly ridiculous 1,123 matches. Nicknamed the tractor for his versatility, strength and resilience, he was such a legend that Internazionale even retired his number 4 jersey when he hung up his boots, aged a monstrous 40 years and 281 days. This was such a hard list to compile, we had to give some honourable mentions to the likes of Cannavaro, Pirlo, Baresi, Gattuso, Nesta and of course Roberto Baggio. So those were our most legendary Serie A veterans, but who are yours? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to know about players at the other end of their career, why not check out our scout report on the best under 21 playmakers from this season. And as always guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.